And uh, Bob, uh, MMT is working no issues now, and uh, you're cleared to launch. Copy. Thank you, sir. Uh, well, we've been here before. Maybe today we'll get to where we should be, which is on orbit. And TD, you have a go to proceed. I copy. Thank you, sir. All personnel, the countdown clock will resume in one minute. Three, two, one, mark. MTV. Ground launch sequencer now controlling. Recorders are activated. Step 1020. Thank you. Standing by to pick up the count in 35 seconds. Standing by to pick up in 10 seconds. Countdown clock will resume on my mark. Three, two, two one. Mark. T minus nine minutes in counting. TLS auto sequence has been initiated. Firing room uh, data recorders uh, were activated just prior to picking up the count. Next activity is the retraction of the crew access arm at T minus 7 minutes 30 seconds. PLT OTC configure fuel cell essential bus source switches. PLT Roger, and what? Ground launch sequencer showing all the countdown events uh, are going as planned. OTC TLT, that's complete. OTC copy, thanks. TLS is go for OAA retract. Orbiter access arm now being retracted. That can be moved back into position in about 30 seconds, uh, should that be required. Next activity in about uh, 15 seconds is the pre-start of the auxiliary power units. JRPS, OTC, start APU and hydraulic strip chart recorder. I'll be confirmed by uh, 1066 complete. Copy. PLT, OTC, perform APU pre-start. OTC pre-start should work. And pilot Bill Reedy will report back when that uh, activity is complete. The flight recorders on board Discovery will be started in about another 30 seconds. Five minutes due to a failure. We're going to be holding the count at T minus five minutes. CCSC. Go to three starts complete. Yeah, this is CCSC. We three great top match. Copy the okay. Mile is CCSC 212. Pilot? Yeah, did you see a hit come in from JSC? That's the ground we did. Ground launch sequencer has cut off the count. Do you have a sync block now? 
France Saint Lock. Affirmative. We have uh, France Saint Lock at this time. It appears to come in from JSC. They're on 155. I'll talk to him and get right back to you, sir. Got him. And Houston flight, did you copy? Yes, sir. We sure did. Ground launch sequencer uh, reports that the orbiter access arm is not fully retracted. However, uh, we believe that that's uh, something that we can work. Two minutes, five minutes in holding. Engineering team uh, believes that the orbiter access arm is retracted. But they're going to discuss it. SC MTD 212. I just asked Eagle hit. Yes, sir. You need any troubleshooting uh, numbers on 161? Um, not at this time. Let's let them talk to Myla and uh, hopefully we'll get it cleared here. Okay. MTD CCSE. Go CCSE. Okay, this is not an LCC violation. It uh, was a one second hit. Uh, LCC is a three second hit. Um, it did come into Myla from the network. It is not an orbiter problem. It's not an LCC problem. It's an automatic hold for GLS for a one second hit. And your recommendation? I recommend uh, reset and count. Proceed, go for launch. SB. And MTD, we're resetting GLS, and that's complete. And uh, we're ready to proceed if the network's ready. And like Milo, Milo MTD, do you concur? Milo concurs. And Houston Flight. Houston Flight, do you concur? Houston Flight, NTD 212. Go ahead, NTD, this is Houston Flight. Yes, sir, do you concur uh, one second hit is non-LCC and go for launch? Yes, sir, we sure do. I copy. Uh, launch director, it seems all personnel concurrence that we're ready to proceed. Okay, and one question for the for the team. What, what was the cause of the dropout? Do we have a feel for that? Uh, this is CCSC. Um, we're checking with Houston at this time to find out. And NTD, Houston Flight on 212. Go Flight. We think that was a hit on the line between ourselves and Milan. We're working the cause of that right now. Okay, but you've re it's restored at this time? CCSC. Okay, NTD, this is CCSC. Um, Houston Inkle informs me they did a MUX reset in, uh, at JSC, and that's what caused the problem. And this is Houston Flight. We concur with that. I copy. So, flight CCC Mila, you're all three go for launch. Yes, sir. CCC go. go. Uh, launch director, we're ready to proceed if you are. Uh, copy. I'm go to proceed. I copy. CGLS, resume the count on your mark. GLS copies the clock to resume on my mark. Three, two, one, mark. GLS is go for orbiter APU start. TLC OTC perform APU start. Center. CDR OTC reconfigure heaters. And the countdown clock uh, now proceeding. Data dropout uh, issue has been resolved. OTC, three good OTUs. OTC copy, thanks. Can't hear you, can take complete. Okay, copy that. Auxiliary power units look good. Standing by uh, shortly to check out the flight control surfaces on the orbiter. Preparing to start the final uh, helium purge sequence on the main engines. GLS is go for purge sequence four. into the check of the flight controls. Launch expected to occur at 9.12.35. Standing by now to gimbal the main engines. That activity now in work. Final steering check of the main engines of the orbiter. Coming up next, the external tank uh, liquid oxygen tank pressurization. Coming up now, the uh, 
retraction of the gaseous oxygen vent arm, the uh, beanie cap as it's called. It they should start here in about another Yellow five Yellow seconds. Yellow 2 pressurization. TOTC, clear caution and warning memory, verify no unexpected errors. TLT, watch and work. And the beanie cap retraction now in work. Terminating the replenish of the liquid hydrogen and pressurizing the uh, liquid hydrogen portion of the external tank, the lower part of the tank. T minus one minute, 30 seconds. by now for the handoff to Discovery's onboard computers. At T minus 31, Discovery will be controlling. T minus 40. Booster heaters are off. T minus 30 seconds. Standing by to activate the sound suppression water system in five seconds. Fifteen. T minus ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Go for main engine start. Three main engines up and burning. Three. We have a cutoff. Pass at the FS 101, LDB says 1. CTU is SCE, perform motor service aboard. CTU is in progress. I copy CDR NCD panel 06. The main engine cut off. CDR NCD panel 06, CTC mode 5. Safing in work. Gotcha, Tom. Coming in work. NHD GLS is accepted to safe. All three engines are showing post shutdown standby. Or go for orbiter HD shutdown with no MPS fire detectors trip. Orbiter access arm now back in position. Copy CDR PLP entity perform APU shutdown. APU shutdowns and work. CMPL C lock certified lock fleet path. CMPL verifies fleet path established and heat shield water is on. C lock verified. Discovery is now in the uh, safe configuration. Crew is in no danger. MPS copies and work. CMPL, fire detector status. Uh, CMPL, no fire detector trip. CGLF, still no fire detectors on your screen. That's correct, and our primary safety is complete. We're go for transition to G9. I copy. MPL, water daily is still on. The water is on. CLXY, leak detector status. Hey, Bill, uh, this is uh, fire room one. Will you get us uh, the TSM ratings as soon as you can? CLHY, leak detector status. NTD T problem. No fires. Copy. CGSS verify OA extended lock and report status at emergency egress temp and flame detectors. Verify OA extended lock and no indications of fire on egress route. 